Paisanos, it's the Ed vs. Food Show, and today we're going to challenge the culinary confection concoction that I've created called the peanut butter and jelly pizza. I'm not entirely sure where the genesis of the idea for the peanut butter and jelly pizza came from, but I do know it has something to do with my buddy, DJ. DJ and I were discussing the bacon turtle burger that I had made for a previous episode of Ed vs. Food. In that same episode, I made the bacon ninja turtle burger. Sort of like a pizza burger. This, of course, led up to us talking about the actual ninja turtles. The actual ninja turtles loving pizza it made perfect sense for us to be on this topic. Talking about it, we got to marshmallow pizza. And somehow, the idea of marshmallow pizza inspired me to come up with the peanut butter and jelly pizza. So if you want to blame somebody for the madness that we're about to begin, that's him right there. What do you say we get started? Now let's take a look at our ingredients. A peanut butter and jelly pizza, of course, needs peanuts to make our peanut butter. Here we have about a pound of Spanish peanuts. We are going to use Spanish peanuts because, as I understand, they have a higher oil content than other peanuts. For our jelly, we are going to use strawberries. We've made strawberry jam before, and we're going to do it again because I had lucked out and had a few cans of strawberries in the house. We are going to use the syrup as one of the ingredients as well. A pizza is not a pizza unless it has a good topping of cheese. But we're not going to use cheese for a peanut butter and jelly pizza. Instead, we are going to use marshmallows to create that gooey consistency that we like as a topping. I had considered making my own pizza dough, but I figured I don't have the space or the equipment really necessary. So we're going to use some pre-made pizza dough to make our pie. Now, both the peanut butter and the jam recipes call for sugar and honey, but we don't have sugar or honey. We are going to use agave nectar as a substitute. Now, agave nectar is not as thick as honey, so we should get a thinner consistency when we make the jam. To make peanut butter, also calls for peanut oil, so we have a little bit right here. And our jam recipe calls for some lemon juice. And both the peanut butter and the jelly require some salt. And we are going to continue using that pink Himalayan salt until I'm out of it. So, how about we get to cooking?
try to figure out what to do with this jar of peanut crumble for the next couple of days. Now, we had thought we were going to make strawberry jelly, but we came up with something more like strawberry sauce. The, the syrup from the cans and the agave nectar were definitely way too thin. So we didn't come up with so much of a jelly, we got more of a sauce here. Also, when I was cooking it, I didn't have nearly enough strawberries. So I had to go out and get some more strawberries and add to this. And still, it didn't come out that thick. But, all in all, I think the pizza looks pretty darn good. Now, I expect this thing to fall apart the second I try to take a slice. But for whatever it's worth, I do want to say it smells great in here right now. Let's see if I can get one of these slices. No, it doesn't look like it. Come here, you. Alright. It's kind of like holding on to a real soggy piece of pizza. In fact, it's still a little warm. It feels like it would fall apart if I didn't hang on to it. not wait too much longer. Wish me luck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the peanuts, the peanut taste is so strong. It's pretty much the only thing I can taste. But after I chewed it for a little while, the sweetness from the marshmallows started to get in there. And I don't know how to describe it. I've probably had something similar to this before, maybe like a, uh, like a crumb cake or something like that. But it's much sweeter than I would have expected, especially considering how strong the peanut taste is. Honestly, at this point, it's kind of starting to remind me of a s'more. Except that there's no chocolate in there. But, wow, this is actually really good. Kind of, kind of messy to eat. Time consuming to make, probably because I didn't really know what I was doing. But, wow, this is really good. It, and probably going to give me a heart attack for eating it. I don't have much else to say. I am really surprised that this came out as well as it did. And it tastes very darn good. Now you probably don't have to go the extra mile and make your own jam and peanut butter to make your peanut butter and jelly pizza. But this would probably be a great treat for you and your kids if you're just trying to find something to do one day. And the novelty of it is great too. Who, who, who would think of a, a, dessert, a dessert kind of pizza? So. I say, go out, give this a shot, make it on your own, and thank you very much for watching Ed vs. Food. Now we're just going to figure out what I'm going to do with all these other slices.